answer me this. What's the most important piece of gear that you have? Maybe it's your jacket, maybe it's your underwear, which is actually pretty good answer, but to me, it's shoes. I could go anywhere without a jacket and... Actually, no, that's a lie. I like going barefoot. <laughs> Welcome to my three-year Vivo Barefoot Primus Trail review. Um, this is three years of me using the Vivo Barefoot Primus Trails, and not this pair in particular. I've only had this one for about 10 months, just about a year. Um, but I've been using Primus Trails for about three years. So I'm gonna cover comfort, durability, build quality, ethics, morals, and overall. So let's hop into it. So let's start off with probably the most important thing when you're looking for shoes, and that is comfort. Uh, and how comfortable are these? Uh, and right away, I will just say these, I think, are the most comfortable shoes I've ever used in my entire life. A um, few reasons for that. One, my foot just really seemed to like them. You know, that's an individual thing and you can't kind of control that. But I find just the general choice of materials, the general outline, the feeling that you have, the breathability, the thoughtful engineering, I think it all, you know, adds up really well. There's other small comfort options here, like the quick fast and lacing system, which I really, really love. Um, the flexibility, the general feel of the shoe is honestly terrific. Yeah, I mean, comfort's a very individual thing and what works for me might not work for you. However, um, and I will say that my first couple weeks or months of using Vivo Barefoot shoes, I was uh, not really, you know, loving them too much. I thought they were good, but uh, once my feet really adapted and, you know, changed from their old ways, wow, it was a huge difference. So then we get into build quality and all the Vivo Barefoot Primus trails, whether it's the all winter, all weather slash winter, or the lights or the knits, uh, they all follow the same kind of design in terms of where the stitching is made and so on and so forth. So I went on a little run and talk with Josh, my housemate, who also has Vivo Barefoot shoes, and I just simply asked him a few questions about how he feels about them. So, before getting started with Vivo Barefoot shoes and after, uh, how do you feel about running and exercise? Well, it's changed the way I... It's changed the way I connect with the ground from my form to just the respect I have for my feet, not just like using them just on autopilot, but rather like every step is a lot more conscious, the way I land and the way I take off. So yeah, you know, as, as we hear from Josh too, barefoot running completely changed his entire life in terms of, well, running, his entire running life. He used to not really like running too much until barefoot came along. And it was the same thing for me, like, I, I actually liked running, but now I enjoy it really thoroughly, you know, it's a lot more fun, so footwear may be the limiting factor. Uh, the materials that they use and the build quality overall is very good. Um, I like the soles, I have used these a lot for, I've used these for running, for climbing, for paintball, Soccer, climbing, for cycling, paintball. literally every single day for the last 10 months I've been using them. And while most of the wear is at the sole here where I've kind of worn away at some of the tread, overall they're holding up really well. I mean, obviously there's a lot of signs of wear as soon as you look closer, I'll do some close-ups. Um, but I mean, I'm very, very abusive with my shoes and the Primus Trails have actually held up pretty much better than any other shoe that I've had. So maybe not like my leather heavy ones, but Overall, they're really great. In terms of versatility, like I said, I've done pretty much literally everything with these shoes. I've swam, ran, climbed, paintballed, sports, climbing, this sport, that sport, that sport. And I've never really been in a situation other than on grass for soccer where I'm like, wow, I wish I had a different pair of shoes. I've really never wished that ever. Um, even going around town, I've only been using flip-flops and these shoes for the last nine months. and. These have really uh, done phenomenal. So they're extremely versatile, which means if you're trying to go for one pair of shoes, if you're kind of just like, you know, choose one thing, I, I, these are a phenomenal choice. If you are scrambling in the Canadian Rockies, um, you might find this low collar to be a bit uh, annoying or prohibitive, or you might find those rocks to be really annoying. Price, because they're not cheap. These are actually uh, some of the more expensive shoes I've ever had, aside from my like specialty soccer cleats. These run usually around 150, 140. Uh, and if it's worth it, it's totally up to you. I have 
in my head, I have this saying that you should spend the most money on the three things that separate you from the floor. Your bed, your tires, and your shoes. And I totally agree. Uh, footwear is probably one of the most absolute important things out there. Whenever you go anywhere, whether it's in the mountains or the nightclub or around town or to the beach, you see footwear is pretty much the most important piece of gear that you have. Without good shoes, without good footwear, you're kind of screwed, no matter whether it's hiking or just hanging out. If your feet are too cold or uncomfortable or too sweaty or just not grippy enough or not versatile enough, you have problems coming to you. And these are super, super versatile, um, durable, comfortable, so affordable is the next problem and to me it's worth it you know spend the most on those three most important things spend the most on the things that you use the most also vivo barefoot's a pretty cool company they have a lot of those initiatives uh, to help with uh, sustainability and regeneration and all that and while a lot of that's just corporate hogwash as usual uh, i actually trust them and their vision and their message compared to a lot of companies you know like compared to adidas or nike or some other people it's not hard to really get that much better Anyways, maybe I'm just a fanboy, maybe I'm just over the moon, but I've still not found a single pair of shoes that I actually like more, and I will continue to use the Primus Trails for years to come, unless I somehow find something that just kind of crosses all those boxes. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Check the description there. I got discount codes available for Vivo Barefoot Store. I wouldn't be saying these things about these shoes if I didn't really love them. Ethics and morals are very important to me. Check out my blog write-ups about the Vivo Barefoot Primus Trails because I go into more depth about materials and ethics and sustainability and this and that and that and this. So yeah, and lastly, if you like this video, please do all those silly like, comment, subscribe algorithm things because it just helps me to grow the channel. And I'm just a small channel trying to keep it honest and trying to keep it real. So it'd be pretty appreciated. Thank you.